July 23, 1998, 10.25 p.m. I'm so excited. It's my first mission as field medic on the STARS Bravo team. I certainly hope my comrades can benefit from my assistance. But our mission is disturbing. Murders roam the forest? Perhaps we can finally answer that question and solve this case for the benefit of the community. Still, I wonder if it was a good idea for Captain Marini to split us up after we discovered that wrecked MP vehicle and those dead soldiers. If there really is an escaped military convict in these woods, we might be unable to assist him individually. Wait, what is that object beyond the trees? Is that a train? Why is it parked out here in the middle of the woods? If we are to get to the bottom of this case, I have to be brave and investigate. I have no idea how many miles we traveled on that nightmare train. I don't know why those passengers turned into monsters and attacked. But I'm glad the prisoner, Billy Cohen, worked with me to activate the emergency brakes in time. He helped save both our lives. But we're stranded now. In some unknown building in the middle of nowhere. Surrounded by festering demons. I wonder how my comrades and Bravo team are doing. Will I ever rejoin them? And the convicted lieutenant? How well can I rely on someone who could hurt so many people? Even if he is the only other human being in this desperate situation. Hours have passed and we still can't find a way out of this facility. What was Umbrella Corporation doing in this foreboding place? Why all the security locks, secret passages and traps? This seems like a training facility for new employees and more like a house of unspeakable horrors. My sense of dread continues to grow as we encounter more and more members of Umbrella's first investigation turned into creepy zombies. If Umbrella's own personnel had no chance to survive, how can we live through this night? Lieutenant Cohen has proved to be a valuable ally in almost every situation. I will never forget being trapped in that mutant monster's claws. I was sure it was all over, yet Billy risked his own life to save me. How did he kill all those people? It must be some kind of mistake. I have to find out the truth about him, and I think we also need to find out what happened to the mysterious Dr. Marcus. Did he really disappear, or could he still be here after all these years? Again, a man who is a complete mystery to me has saved my life. I have to let go of my apprehensions and trust him. Billy really is a loyal and caring person. I just wish he wasn't a fugitive from justice, because he would make an excellent STARS officer. The key we found in the horrible basement of this place should enable us to return to the upper levels of this facility and search new areas to find a way out of here. Finally, we've escaped from that training facility. The equipment and weapons we've come to depend on are heavy and hard to carry, but lugging them from place to place is better than being caught off guard. Although we've left one doomed building, an even more ominous place looms just ahead. What could possibly be the connection between the Umbrella Corporation and a church of all places? Hopefully there's no connection whatsoever, but nothing is as it seems anymore. This is all like some unreal nightmare, but it is definitely happening. In spite of how hopeless it looks, I can only hope that Billy survived the attack and that I can find him somewhere on the other end of that cable car line. On my own, managing my weapons and finding some means of escape isn't going to be easy. I just have to take deep breaths and count on the inheritance left to me by that poor man who died on the cable car. Billy must be alive. He must be. Still no sign of Billy, and tangling with that overgrown zombie didn't help one bit. He must be trapped in the lower levels of this facility. But just how deep underground does it go? While it was a pleasant surprise to be reunited with the captain, I can't shake this sense of dread. Something awful is going to happen, and if I don't move fast, 
I might be too late to prevent it.